When you gave me that letter, yes. and you told me not to read it until you die, yes. I read it immediately <laughs> after you left. What was in the letter that Scanlon gave to Pike? Yep. I'll just read it to you. Oh, you got it? Dearest Pike, my entire life I've been half a man. Not in statue, nor confidence, nor certainly not in reputation, but you see, even though my heart has pumped blood for these 69 years, it has done so only as half a heart. The moment I first saw you was not a choir of angels singing, nor silly butterflies fluttering in my chest, no. The moment I met Tr Pike Trickfoot, I haven't read this in a year, uh, and the moment I met Tr Pike Trickfoot was the tragic moment I realized that my heart, my soul, would be forever incomplete without you. For years I've strived to mend my incomplete heart, to join it with yours and find true bliss at your side, though, uh, though it may not have seemed so, everything I've done these past years has been to impress you, please you, protect you. I knew early on it was a futile effort. I'm not stupid. The entire world may be mad, but that doesn't nullify the laws of reality. One law being that you are and will always be too good for a poor penny singer like Scanlon Shorthalt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I would not win you <clears throat> your love, I could never stop trying. Does the sun stop rising when the, cl <laughs> the clouds, <laughs> clouds blotted out? There we go. No. Like me, it knows its purpose, to illuminate the world so that mortals can witness such beauty as you. Oh my God. Jesus, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting laid tonight <clears throat> by yourself. <laughs> but now, as the sun sets on my life, I have, I guess I was dying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You, you okay. don't open it unless you die. Yeah, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, but now, as the sun sets on my life, I have discovered something new. I have a daughter whose heart beats my blood and whose life is my own. And she, unlike her father, can be good and right and one day worthy of your love, which is why on my deathbed I leave her to you. Uh, don't you see, this whole time I thought I was chasing a lover, but instead I have been chasing a mother for my child. You... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you, Pike Trickfoot, are the savior to Kaylee that I could never be. Your wisdom and honor and goodness can give her the chance at redemption that I never had. Pike, take my daughter as your own. Show her the light of Saren Ray. Guide her to be a kind-hearted gnome. Teach her to be everything her father was not. That way, in death, my... Oh, man, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> that way, in death, my heart will be complete. And it will beat inside, inside Kaylee by your side like I always dreamed it would. With love and respect, Burt Reynolds, Esquire. Oh, <laughs> Everything I said in that letter I meant. And, and regardless of whether or not you totally betrayed me by reading it. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that you at least understood the sentiment, I hope. And, I did. And you appreciated the, my honesty and the fact that you are Taking that vow? I if I die. Yes, I am taking that vow. Yes, I understand. <laughs> well, then that's fine. Listen, I do love you. I will always love you, even in death. And thank you for, for telling me that. And I hope it doesn't come to that. But if it does, that makes me feel a little bit better about things. OK. Well, I love you. Sleep tight. I give him a hug and a kiss on his cheek. I just sort of kick the dirt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk away and I click my heels. <laughs> little jump and click. Okay. Aww.